you want to see how I created this project, hang out with me and I'll show you all the various steps. Hi, this is Diana. Welcome to my channel, Crafted Sweetly. If you haven't subscribed yet, or if you're new to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. So are you interested in learning how I created this project? Hang out with me and I'll show you the steps involved in creating this or any other project using a Cricut. So first I created this stencil and I used my Cricut machine for this. This here to weave out probably took me about an hour and a half or so. And some pieces I used a magnifying glass because the pieces got super tiny and I just see I missed one. Once you have all your, whatever design you're using, you have to just weed out what you're planning on coloring. So right now for the design, wherever you see this purple, that's where it's going to stay white on the Yupo paper. So I have this, now I have to take it from here and put it on the Yupo paper. And for that, I'm using contact paper to take it off this backing and move it onto the Yupo paper. So I'll take the contact paper off the backing and I need to apply it on here. And it's best if you kind of do almost like a, a taco effect to it in terms of laying it down. So I'm starting off in the middle and then lay it over. So now to make sure that this sticks, if you haven't worked with transferring the vinyl onto the contact paper, I just use a scraper and you could use a credit card or whatever you have with a sharp edge because I want to transfer this to the contact paper and you can check and see if it picks it up, so flip it over and if it doesn't look like it's picking it up then I'll go back and just press a little harder to it to make sure that it sticks to the contact paper. And once you have it, you're kind of rolling this backing right against it so instead of lifting it straight up like this i roll it against itself and if it looks like it's not working you know if some of it is sticking you can use your pick and for all of the various supplies that i'm using i do have links below in the description box as well as some additional videos that may be of interest like yupo paper how you can apply alcohol ink to different surfaces and get different effects so once you have transferred this onto the contact paper then i'll take my yupo paper and put it on here so i just need to center it see which way i want to set it up so i'll do it this way so now I've set it down and again this is just temporary here this will not stay here once I do the alcohol ink on it so same idea and I want to move it on to here I don't want to press it too hard just hard enough for it to stick if I press it too hard I may have a little harder time getting it off but I just want to make sure that it does stick to the Yupo paper and it doesn't leave any little areas where the alcohol could run underneath And the contact paper you can save for other projects so it's definitely not a one-time use so once this is down now i will do the alcohol ink so i'm going to use a piece of parchment paper just so i don't get alcohol ink all over my work area so there you have your stencil so for this i'm using tim holtz's alcohol ink and i have all the various colors of blues sailboat blue turquoise and denim so these are the colors that I'm using for this project okay so once you have this down you do need to make sure that the vinyl is completely on the Yupo paper or it will bleed underneath it then I will take also some blending solution you don't have to pretty much at this point you can do whatever you want with the outer surface so I will take the felt pad and put it on my applicator. We'll take some of the blending solution and add it to the pad. 
Again, you don't have to do this portion of it if you don't want. And then I'll just use the various colors of blues on the pad. And then just go on the Yupo paper and add your color. And over the dolphin area, I will go back over that to do a little darker um, gray. You could add ink directly to it if you'd like. You do not have to use that pad. And I'm using also a brush just to create some wave kind of effects to it. And then for the dolphin area, I'm gonna go back over it with this, which is pebble, and just add a little bit more color to it so that it stands out from the sea area. And I'll put some on my work area so I can pick that up. And for this, I do want to make sure that I'm getting in the various areas where the stencil is created. Otherwise, you'll be able to see the blues with it. Okay, so once you're happy with the way this is and the alcohol ink has dried, then we can remove the stencil portion of it. So I just use the weeding tool from the Cricut, the same one that I weeded everything else with. So I will just use the weeding tool and you just kind of have to find the corner to lift this up. Once you manage to get all of the stencil portion off, then this is what you end up with. So what I'll do is the only thing is I'm, I'm going to make his eye a little more prominent. So as you can see, a few places the ink did run underneath, but I don't think that's very noticeable, especially when you look at it from a little farther away. So we would not be too concerned about that. So this is how I use my Cricut to create stencils in order to make some fun designs and then incorporate them with the alcohol ink on Yupo paper. I hope this video was helpful with your next crafting project. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next crafting project.